This is the big track junior. It's a programmable car. The controls are on the top and we're going to see how it works. First thing you've got to do is turn it on. The on button is underneath. And you can test that it's on by clicking the clear memory button and it should make an audible noise. The controls are reasonably simple. If you press forward, you've then got to say how many car lengths to go forward. We'll just do one car length forward and then you press go and it will move. So let's make a slightly more complicated program. Let's try clear memory. Forward one, right 15, and then forward two. That right 15 represents 15 minutes in the hour. If you think about the clock face, 15 is about a quarter of the way around, 30 would be half the way around, and 45 would be three quarters of the way around. A couple of other buttons on the Big Track Junior. That one there fires a phaser, um, which you can see shoot out of the front if you have a look clear memory fire the phaser five times please the P button you see in the middle is a pause button so for example we could go clear memory forward to Pause for 55 and then back to that pause is a tenth of a second for each one, so 55 would be about five and a half seconds. Uh, that times two button that you see is a loop button and that can save you uh, typing in lots and lots and lots of instructions if you want the same thing done over and over again so for example we have got a clear memory we go forward to if we turn 45 uh, and then we go to times two uh, let's do that three times so that should run go forward to turn 45 three times let's see if it works If you want to commit a program to memory, there's two different options. Uh, you've seen the clear memory button that we keep using when we want to start something new. If you're wanting to uh, commit something to memory permanently and store something in the one memory stop the slot the machine's got, if you press and hold the M button for two seconds, that will store something in the memory. If you're wanting to replace something in the memory, if you put a new program into the, compu uh, the computer car and then press that button, hold it for two seconds, it will wipe the memory and uh, replace it with what you've just written.